All right, more now on the January 6th committee's decision to subpoena former President Donald Trump to testify. Joining us is Massachusetts Congressman Jake Auchincloss. Congressman, thanks for being here. Do you think the committee did the right thing? Yes. January 6th was my third day in office. And that evening, I announced that I was not going to be working with any Republicans who had chosen to decertify the election results uh, for the 117th Congress. That left a pretty small number of Republicans I could work with. Liz Cheney was one of them. She and I have partnered this term to champion bipartisan support for the strategic defeat of Russia in Ukraine. And I'm happy to call her a friend. And today we saw Liz Cheney stand up to her party, stand up to corruption, and put democracy above politics. All right, Congressman Auchincloss, this is a, an individual, President Trump, who's faced any number of investigations, going back to his first impeachment with the, the Ukraine investigation, uh, what's going on in New York State with the Attorney General, the Trump Organization, questions about taxes there, the uh, investigation with the FBI and the Justice Department over documents he took to Mar-a-Lago, allegedly, and now this, but so far, he's essentially escaped any consequences. Why would anyone think that this would be any different? The fact pattern laid out by the January 6th committee has actually really been corroborated by Republicans. So first, a series of Republican appointed judges denied Trump's and his cronies ridiculous claims that the election was stolen. And then a series of Republican witnesses over the last year have corroborated the story that Trump knew the election was not stolen and still summoned the mob to the Capitol. And now we have a bipartisan unanimous vote of the January 6th committee itself to subpoena Donald Trump. At every turn, we are seeing that even conservatives, when confronted with the facts, have got to admit under oath that Donald Trump committed sedition and insurrection. Uh, that's only been supported uh, today with the Supreme Court's refusal to get involved with his Mar-a-Lago case a conservative Supreme Court. Uh, so Donald Trump is gonna try to outrun the law. He always does, but nobody in this country, even a former president is above the law. He needs to be held to account. Uh, well, and, and to that vein, you mentioned Congresswoman Liz Cheney, and she did indicate today that the committee has sufficient evidence to consider at least criminal referrals to the DOJ for multiple individuals. How confident are you that that in fact will happen? We know that certain folks who took part in the insurrection, they're being charged. Will anyone else be held to account? They should, both criminally and under civil law. The Constitution and U.S. federal code is quite clear. You cannot commit insurrection or sedition. Can't lie about election results and then seek to overthrow the U.S. government. And Donald Trump and his cronies attempted to do that. They need to be held to account. This subpoena is an important step forward and we need to see it through to the end. This is not about Democrat versus Republican. This is Democrats and Republicans saying together that no one's above the law. And one more question quickly, Congressman, before we go. Should this have happened sooner? Here we are 20 months now after January 6, 2021. We're close to the midterm elections. As you well know, Democrats might lose control of the House. Why didn't this happen three, four, five, six months ago? Due process is important. The January 6th committee took seriously its obligation to lay out the facts and the evidence in a compelling and well-researched and supported manner. I think that diligence is important. You're right that if Kevin McCarthy gets the gavel after these midterms, his first phone call is gonna be to Mar-a-Lago and he is going to put his political interests ahead of our democracy. It underscores the criticality and the choice of these midterms. It's not just about defending women's rights from GOP attacks. It's about defending our very democracy. Okay, Congressman Jake Auchincloss, thanks so much for joining us this evening. Good to be on. Thank you.